Arizona Senate candidate Carrie Lake takes aim at President Biden for not making the border a top priority as the Tucson sector has seen tens of thousands of migrants apprehended in the last three weeks. Here's one America's Daniel Baldwin. While all eyes are on 45th President Donald Trump attempting to make a White House comeback, he will need a Republican Congress if he hopes to quickly get his America First agenda through for the American people. Joining me now is Trump-endorsed Senate candidate Carrie Lake. Carrie, you could be the very person to help make that a reality. There's been tons of speculations for months, months about whether you would join the fray in this Senate race. What specifically was the clinching factor that made you want to throw your hat in the race? You know, looking into my children's eyes, into their faces, and realizing that as uncomfortable as it is to be in politics, it's just a, you know, filthy, slimy world. If I don't remain in it, I'm worried about their future. We've got a wide open border, people pouring across an invasion on our border. We've got wars starting all over the world. And we have people who are enabling Joe Biden and his destruction of this country. We don't have a lot of time left on the clock, Daniel. And um, I'm really worried about my children's future. And maybe I'm being a little bit selfish as a mother. I'm worried about my kids. I'm worried about the young generation. I've had a great life, but we have to stay in a fight. This is not the season to, uh, you know, get rich and, and push my professional career. This is the season to save our country. 100%. Carrie, you mentioned the border. It'll always be an ever present issue for the U.S., but specifically Arizona. Biden has been facing a lot of mounting pressure from both sides of the aisle now regarding illegal immigration. It's skyrocketing. And we know last week they announced that they would be expanding President Trump's border wall in the Rio Grande Valley and begin deporting thousands of illegal immigrants, specifically from Venezuela. Do you believe that this is somewhat of a tactical retreat by the Biden administration to try to keep border issues off the ballot in 2024? I, I believe that the Biden administration, these Democrats realize that even liberals are saying, we got to stop what's happening at the border. So this is his way of putting the tiniest of, of Band-Aids, kind of like those little blister Band-Aids that you, you see, the little tiny ones, on a wide open wound, an artery that is squirting out blood, and he's putting a tiny Band-Aid on it to say, oh, look, I did build a little bit of wall. 20, I think I heard it was going to be uh, 20 miles, and it's going to be a subpar wall. Look, I'm for getting the wall up. And so any wall is better than no wall, but I want to do a wall like President Trump was doing. Walls work. If they didn't work, we wouldn't have seen the Biden administration come into Arizona and weld the wall open. They know they work, and they know that walls deter and keep people out. And so we need to finish President Trump's wall. I have a 10-point border plan. I encourage people to go to carrylake.com and read about it. I have the strongest border policy and border plan uh, in my run for governor as well. And we've taken that, and we're going to take it to Washington, D.C. We're going to force these people to get serious about our border so we don't have this constant invasion. We need to hire more judges, deal with these asylum, these fraudulent asylum claims. The people I'm running against, Kirsten Cinema and Ruben Gallego, they want to grant everybody asylum. They want to grant everybody the ability who are coming over illegally the ability to vote. Ruben Gallego wants them all voting. We need to stop this flow of people coming across our border immediately, get them out, send them back to the country they came from, because our lives are at risk with the people pouring across right now. We've seen what happened in Israel, Daniel. And that is going to be happening here. It's not a matter of if, but when it happens. A message that is certain to make a lot of American and Arizona residents very happy. Carrie Lake, running for U.S. Senate in Arizona, Trump endorsed. Thank you so much for joining us on One American News. Thank you, Daniel. For all our viewers asking where One American News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard hitting, straight shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One American News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.